What's going on, Taurus? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy. I'm here to bring you your first read for the month of September. I hope all is well in the Taurus community. For those of you who are already part of the 8th House Energy community, thank you so much for your energy and for all the various ways you support the channel. I appreciate you. And uh, to those who are new, welcome to the channel. You know, I'm going to give you what, what it is in the, in the cards. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm not going to, you know, lie to you or... Like, I can't do that. I'm just going to read the cards, okay? Sometimes when I read the cards, it's stuff you don't want to hear. Sometimes it's stuff you don't like. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes it's stressful. You know what I mean? But sometimes it's good news, too. But, you know, just know that you're going to get the facts here based on what the cards are telling me. I'm going to tell you what I see. So with that being said, let's get into your reading and see what's going on for my Tauruses uh, for the kickoff for September 2021. If you would like a personal read, reach out to me. My information is in the box below. This is going to be a general read. It's not going to resonate 100% with all of you. There's too many of you here, and there's too many energies in the collective in general that I'm picking up on. So just take what does, leave the rest, all right? First card out is the Two of Swords. It came out in reverse. That's Aries Energy. That's the Seven of Swords. Forgive me. Is it the Seven? Hold on. Let me read this right. Yeah, it's the Seven of Swords that came out in reverse. All right, so that's actually Aquarius energy. Messages for Taurus. What do they need to know for this week? Messages for Taurus. Thank you. We have the Hanged, the Hanged One, the Hanged Muse, or the Hanged Man. All right, that's Neptune energy. Major, Ar Major Arcana. What else does Taurus need to know? Messages for my Tauruses. Taurus. What does, ooh, okay. So we have the Two of Swords. Here's the Two of Swords. All right. So that's Libra. Then we have the Three of Swords. More Libra energy. Okay. So we got a lot of swords out here. We have the Devil energy in reverse. Major Arcana of Capricorn. And we have the Four of Pentacles. That's in the center of the reed. That's more Capricorn energy. What else do we, does Taurus need to know? Thank you. We have the Ten of Cups, which is Piscean energy. Messages for Taurus. What do they need to know? Thank you. We have the Emperor Major Arcana of Aries. The Major Arcana of Judgment. It came out in reverse. In this deck, it's called the Awakening. That's Pluto energy. And then the outcome here is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so that is uh, Virgo energy. The overall energy for your spread. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the overall energy for your spread is the Empress energy in reverse. All right, so this is the Empress upright for those who like to look at the cards. This is the Muse. I forget what it's called. The, I think it's the Muse Tarot. For those of you who want to know the name of the deck. M-U-S-E. Um, and so it, Empress came out in reverse. Now this is your energy. Okay. Uh, actually it's Venus. But it's split between you and. Uh, you and Tor. You and uh, Libra. But the Empress energy is in reverse here. So with the Empress energy in reverse. This could be a couple of different things. But you know this could be somebody who's trying to take from you. Trying to put you in the Empress in reverse energy. You know you could be very beautiful. You could be successful. Attractive. Um, <clears throat> you know, have a good vibe, a good energy about you, and somebody's trying to to take that from you. For others of you, you could be somebody could be coming at you with this energy, um, where um, you know they're jealous and envious of you. For others of you, you know, maybe you are um, having some financial difficulty. You may have come from an environment where you were successful financially, and things could have taken a turn for the worst for you with your business. I mean, a lot of people are going through that right now with COVID. And I know in New York, if I'm not mistaken, is it in New York where they have put an order out where, you know, the business owners have to, you know, check people to confirm that they've gotten the COVID vaccine before they let them in, which is absurd. Like these business owners are tripping because they're like, yo, I'm not going to play police like, how are you asking me to play police and run my business at the same time? And then I'm supposed to argue with people at the door every day, all day. Like, this this is crazy. So for some of you, you know, that could have a hindering on your business. Okay? Um, but let's see what this Empress energy reflects. Some of you could be going through a divorce and or separation. Um, but let's see. 
also what I'm getting to, some of you could be targeted. You could be an older, mature person. You could be targeted by somebody younger. They could just want you for your money. They may not be attracted to you or, you know, and it could be specifically because of the age range or maybe they don't find you as attractive, but they see that you have money and they could be trying to take from you. The middle, yeah, see the middle of the reed is the four of pentacles. You're protecting yourself. You know, you're guarding yourself. You're protecting your assets. Okay. Um, I feel like it's because, again, somebody could be trying to take from you in some way, shape or form. Um is this this is the two okay so the two of swords and the three of swords okay so and then the ten of cups yeah some of you realize that somebody was trying to take from you and it's hurt it, it's hurtful it's hurtful it definitely is maybe you were married to or involved with somebody who was trying to take from you some of you if you're single you were dealing with someone who you know was trying to take from you you could have been trying to figure it out you could have been just in a situation like okay let me just assess this and make sure that i'm getting this right so some of you you know with that two of sword energy you may have had a vibe about this person but you continue to deal with them because you needed more concrete evidence and so once you got that concrete evidence and turned into the three of swords and so with the ten of cups here and the awakening in reverse with judgment in reverse here you realize that you know what I made a bad decision about the situation here with this person and um, with the nine of materials here you just move away so for some of you you were married you were in a relationship you had to make a decision to leave you know um, against you know your better judgment you, you stayed or you participated it could have just been for financial security is what I'm feeling for some of you but now you've decided you know what I'm gonna go ahead and and move independently some of you, maybe you were waiting for a court date, okay, because the emperor is here, the empress is in reverse here, okay, uh, we got the seven of swords, we got the devil energy, the hangman energy, so somebody definitely was enlightened to, to what somebody's intentions were, so somebody found out that somebody was just around for money, okay, uh, and they stayed around for money, but they're, uh, where's the cups at? Where are the cups? Oh, there's the ten of cups. That's it. But that's because you two were in a relationship, but there's no, I don't get no other love here. I don't get that there's love. I get that you two were in a relationship, but the relationship was based on a matter of financial convenience. Somebody was financially dependent upon another person. So somebody was like, okay, you, you trying to, I see that you're trying to play me for my money, so I'm going to step off from this connection. So for some of you, judgment in reverse came. You realized you made the wrong decision about this person. Some of you could be going to court, could be going, you know, through a separation or actual divorce. But for others of you, you knew that this person, <clears throat> or you found out, and you were in your head about it for a minute, like, wait a minute, is this person using me? Because something was going off letting you know that something was up. But you were enlightened with the hangman energy. You realized, yeah, okay. Because something went down. With the seven of swords energy in reverse. Something went down that you found out that this person was using you. Right? Because over here we got the five of swords. Over here we got the seven of swords reverse. So it could have been their communication and what they were saying to you. And what they were not saying it to you. And how they were saying it to you. Which triggered something in you and it's like, ah, okay, I see. So I need to protect myself. I need to uh, move away from this person. Now, if you're not married, this could be somebody you've just been with for a long time. Y'all lived together for a long time. Y'all known each other for 10 years, no matter what the state status of the relationship was or is. Um, and, you know, somebody just stayed in this situation because it was financially convenient. It's financially comfortable. You know, one thing about Taurus, I know once they get comfortable in a situation, it's a wrap. It's hard to get them to go. You know, that's with any fixed sign. But Taurus, especially because Taurus is fixed earth. Like, that's the buildings, the trees. Like, you're not moving that shit easily. You're going to have to tear that shit down. And you're going to have to use all kinds of mechanisms to do it. And it's not easy to do. So it's like your same mentality. Your mentality is the same. It's like in order for you to move away from a situation where you're comfortable and you're fixed in... Shit, it's going to take all kinds of uh, situations to go down. And that's what that Two of Swords is all about. And then that Five of Swords back and forth. But you finally, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Hangman energy, see this person for who they are. And that this was a toxic situation and they were all about money with this Devil energy here. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So some of you were using someone for money and some of y'all was being used for money. So just take it how it resonates for you. 
whether you're a cross watcher or a tourist, because some tourists were out here using people for money. Some tourists were being used for money, okay? So, yeah, the Empress energy in reverse here. And we have um, the Nine of Wands in reverse. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, then we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Mm, yep. And we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, so yeah, this is a situation here with this Empress energy in reverse and this Nine of Wands in reverse here. Somebody had let their guard down with someone and as a result this person was trying to get this person to let their guard down or this person did let their guard down <clears throat> so that they could come in and take advantage. This person was trying to work this person with the Eight of Materials. They were trying to figure out how to uh, get this person uh, with the Four of Wands in reverse off their off their balance here. And they would play with them with their, you know, they would emotionally manipulate this person because they know this person. Some of you knew this person was needy or looked at this person as if they were needy and they wanted you or needed you for some way, shape, or form. And so what you would do is the plan was, see, the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles is the plan. And then the Four of Wands in reverse is like, okay, how do I get this person, you know, unstable? And then with the Queen of Cup, uh, Cups in reverse here, you come in because you know this person is emotionally needy. And you come in, you play, you, you fill the need. And so filling the void to get what you needed to get out of the situation, this, this is what this person did. Yeah, that's what they did. Pretended that they loved you. Pretended that they cared. Somebody did that to somebody. And it was just for money. Now, somebody might have got caught out there trying to do that. Or somebody did it for a while and then it finally came to... It came to be that this person figured it out after some time. Some of you may have assets together, businesses together. So it's like cheaper to keeper type mentality is what I was feeling. It's cheaper to keeper because it would be so much more money to go through a divorce and separation and selling of assets. And so some of you, that's why you stayed in this connection for so long. You know, whether it's cheaper to keep him or cheaper to keep her. One or the other. But somebody was definitely in it for the financial convenience. Alright, so let's see what, what else we got for Taurus. What's the current situation? Alright, so we have the King of Cups. Maybe, okay, King of Cups, Scorpio energy. What's the challenge in this situation for Taurus? We have the Knight of Cups. Piscean energy. What's your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors want you to keep in mind here? We have the Five of Swords. All right, that Five of Swords is Aquarius energy. So we got Five of Swords showing up again. Then we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, that's uh, Pisces energy, Page of Cups in reverse. And then the outcome here. Outcome is the Ten of Cups in reverse. I told you, man, there was no love here. We got the Major Arcana of the Chariot energy. It came out in reverse. It's the overall energy here. All right. So with the Chariot energy in reverse, this is Cancerian energy. So somebody could be wanting to uh, move away from a situation. Uh, I feel like there's some emotional stagnancy. Or somebody feels, I feel like an energy of betrayal. Somebody feels betrayed emotionally. Like, yo, this person was using me all this time. For some people, I feel like, you know, they have a difficulty being able to move on. Because I feel like transportation with the chariot, in it, the, you know, the actual chariot. But also what I get, yeah, because, you know, the chariot rules. Well, cancer rules the fourth house. And this is the cancer energy. The fourth house talks about your physical home. And it talks about the home within, like your body, you know, your soul, right? The home within your body, your spirit, your soul. So for some of you, emotionally, you're not able to get past the situation or you were not able to get past it. Uh, it's difficult for you to do. It's difficult for you to move on. For others of you, if we're talking about your physical home, for whatever reason you were not able to move, it could, be, it could have been because maybe you didn't have financial resources to do so. All right. But uh, somebody's having a hard time dealing with things. So with the King of Cups energy, this is Scorpionic energy. Somebody could have been hiding their feelings about a situation. You know, um, kings take action. So someone was taking action to either hide how they felt uh, or to, you know, maybe express love to someone. 
the challenge is the Knight of Cup energy, which is the Piscean energy. The challenge is, is that uh, this person is fickle with their emotions. Um, you know, one minute they good, the next minute they not. And that is what could have raised that red flag. That's what it could have been that two of swords in the last prayer where you were like, hmm, is this person dealing with me and someone else? And that's when we went to the three of swords. Yeah. So some of you figured that out. Yeah, because here's the five of swords here. Your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors are telling you what's up. Your intuition is telling you what's up. You need to follow that. Where your head is at right now is the page of cups in reverse. Yeah, you know this person is full of shit as far as what they got to offer and what they bring into the table. And then we have the ten of cups energy in reverse. So yeah, this is you two breaking up, separating. Some of you may have kids with this person. Maybe you don't. Um, but I do sense a separation here. But somebody is still emotionally uh, distraught about this. Because here's the, the chariot energy in reverse. Not able to move on emotionally. Yeah, the queen of cup energy. Listening to your intuition. Letting it tell you what's real. Uh, accepting what it's hearing. The seven of cups. You know, yeah, because you were in your head trying to figure shit out about the situation. It wasn't making sense to you. The hierophant. This could represent family members. who. If this is not a family. Yeah, because we got the ten of cup energy. So it could be a family in a sense where it's actual, you know, uh, brothers, sisters, aunties, uncles, cousins, what have you, mother, father, whatever. Or it could be a marriage, a relationship. Yeah, and then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So somebody was lying intentionally. Somebody was doing this intentionally. Or, you know, people are not speaking. But I feel like this person was lying intentionally to get what they needed from you. So they would come in with that King of Cup energy. But the reality is, is they were dealing with other people. They could only, they were coming in like they were the king of cup. But the reality is, is that all they could give was the knight of cup energy. And so as a result, it was figured out what was going on. And, you know, now this person is like, okay, the relationship's in turmoil. Yeah, but somebody's having a hard time getting over it. Like the betrayal. They're having a hard time getting over that. You know, and somebody was like, yo, I knew I should have used my intuition, you know, or I, I, I should have listened to my intuition with the queen of cup and the seven of cup energy. This is somebody like, damn, you know, they were figuring it out and they finally figured it out because I don't feel, I feel like it was based on this person's communication. I don't know if this person was purposely telling them that they were dealing with other people or it was just the, the questions you asked with this person, especially with the seven of cups. You would maybe ask questions to this person and they would respond to you in a, ma in a manner which would give you a red flag. Or this person would ask you questions, vice versa, and the way you responded would throw up a red flag for them. Um, so with the Hierophant and the Knight of Swords in reverse here, somebody may have went and filed for paperwork for a divorce on the low. And somebody could be devastated about that. Somebody may have filled out an application for housing someplace else or may have uh, applied for a home someplace else and they're waiting on that. Somebody might have gotten denied for housing. They may have applied for it and gotten denied so they have to start over from scratch. But yeah, I get that this is what's going on with this situation. So if this resonates at all, feel free to click that like button and leave a comment on how it resonates, whether it's with you or someone you know. Uh, this is a very sensitive subject here. People splitting up, going through divorce, somebody finding out they were betrayed. So please be considerate in the comments. Um, and just please keep the comments to if it resonates with you and how, or if it resonates with someone you know and how. Uh, no sign bashing or, you know, critiquing the reading because you know, nobody's interested in none of that. So that, that information will be deleted and blocked if necessary and depending on how nasty the comment is. Uh, so what, with that being said, the link to the extended is in the box below. If this didn't resonate with you at all, check your other placements for this reading. If you don't like this style of reading, I do offer other styles or types of readings. If you look at the screen, you should see four different types of Taurus readings for you to choose from. So check out one of those. And uh, I'm going to head to the extended. So hopefully I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Later, Taurus.